Okay, someone who feels strongly, <laughs> I think that's an understatement, about a potential mask mandate is KABC Radio's John Phillips, host of The John Phillips Show. And John, you see him there, he joins us live tonight. John, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Okay, so, uh, you know, high transmission, it's happening in L.A. County. The county's reporting an average of almost 7,000 new cases every day. We know that's an undercount because of home testing. 45 people have already, 100 people have died this year alone. What's your beef with the mandate? There are 58 counties in California. Most of them have actual doctors running their public health department. In Los Angeles County, we have a fake doctor running our health department. She is not a medical doctor, she is a social worker. She is not qualified to give medical advice. She's qualified to look at a, someone with tattoos on their face and needles in their arms and say, you get custody of the kids. And that is literally it. She has no idea what she's doing and enough children have died of suicide, drug overdose, mental illness and everything else is a direct result of the policies of this buffoon that need to die. It's time to end this madness. It's time for this woman to get on her broom and get out of town and stop terrorizing the people of Los Angeles. Okay, so that's the, the middle ground position on this. <laughs> a little, little, little over the top there, John, but, but let's... No, uh, it's real. This woman has ruined people's yeah, lives. Well, people we, yeah, we don't have to make make this. She's a witch on a broom. I mean, that's a little much. But but let's let let's no, talk, it's true. Let, let, <laughs> let's talk about though. Um, why do you think uh, the board of supervisors goes along with this? Because she is hired and fired at the pleasure of the board of supervisors, and sure. they so far are blessing this. They're not stepping in. They're not putting political pressure on her now and saying, "Don't do the the mask mandate." We have a spike in crime right now in Los Angeles County. Uh, we have a murder rate that we haven't seen in years. We have a crime rate that we haven't seen in years. And what does the Board of Supervisors say? The Board of Supervisors is trying to fire the sheriff of Los Angeles County, Alex Villanueva, the one person we have left who's looking out for public safety. And who are they fine with? They're fine with the district attorney. So I would ask this question to the Board of Supervisors. Before they vote to get rid of the sheriff of Los Angeles County, I want every single one of them, starting with Sheila Kuehl, to announce if they've been, if they're the target of a criminal investigation, whether it be local or federal. And then they can go ahead and vote on those matters. Well, let's talk about uh, the target uh, that is Barbara Ferrer this week, a controversy that we have been addressing here and that I asked her about yesterday on the weekly briefing. And this involves her daughter in a potential conflict of interest. Her daughter works for the Office of Education in L.A. County. She is co-authored on a COVID-19 study, and their relationship was not disclosed. I asked Barbara Ferrer yesterday why she didn't feel it was necessary. Here's part of her response. You have our statement. I didn't work on this study. There's no conflict of interest. I didn't direct any work, and I have no family members that work at the Department of Public Health and are supervised or supported by me. Right. We know that your daughter does work for the Office of Education, which is part of this study. Uh, and you are acknowledged in the acknowledgments. Your name is on there. So that's also something of that. I didn't work on the study. Marla had nothing to do with the study. And you know, John, she also says that she has never uh, referred to the study in forming her masking policy. Yeah, that's not true. Um, she was specifically thanked at the bottom of the study. Her daughter was one of the authors of the study. And I can tell you this, one of the reasons that um, Barbara Ferrer claims we're bringing the mask mandates back in Los Angeles County is equity. All we hear, hear from her is equity, 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 equity. Well, of everyone in the Los Angeles press corps, the only two people with the guts to ask her about the obvious corruption and the obvious conflict of interest were you and Sandra. The fact that you two were the only one with the guts to ask her about this question tells you everything you need to know about what Barbara Ferrer is putting out and what the press corps in Los Angeles is allowing her to disseminate to the people of L.A. County. This is a travesty of justice that's going on. This is obvious corruption. And the fact that the Board of Supervisors is willing to look the other way is fine. They can do whatever they want to do. They're accountable to the people of Los Angeles. But the people of Los Angeles are now aware of this and they are waking up 
And let me tell you, the days that Barbara Ferrer has left in Los Angeles are limited, and thank God for that. Uh, let me just quickly say this, if I may. Uh, it, you know, there was concern that perhaps I wasn't going to be called on because this question they knew was going to be coming. And so the fact that I was called on, I will say that that was, that was a good thing. That was a good thing. They did yeah, the right but thing you there. were the one yes. that did your job. The others did not do their job. You and Sandra were the two people that were honest there that did their jobs. And the fact that we... The, 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 that is the case that we can only rely on two people to do that is beyond pathetic. Yeah, and when you say Sandra, you mean Sandra Mitchell. Of um, okay, so so another question about the board. Sheila Kuehl is retiring. Uh, there's going to be a change at the board. Bob Hertzberg yeah. is the favorite to replace her. He's running against Lindsey Horvath, who's a member of the city council from West Hollywood. Here's what Hertzberg said to me today about Ferrer. I don't know enough to know. I, I don't think it's appropriate. I'm not as these politicians to stick finger in people's eyes and cause press conferences, scream at people. I find ways to work with folks, and I will do my homework behind the scenes. I will talk to everybody under the sun, and if somebody I work with and can move them in a direction that I think is the right way, it's great. If it's not, then you don't. But I don't. I wouldn't know one way or the what other. Do you, mean you don't. You don't know. I mean, isn't that one of the most important people in the whole county? It, it is. But you. But it just seems to me I'm a candidate. I'm not inside the board. I don't have all the information that they have. Right. I, what I tell you is that I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I don't want to just knee jerk and say we all of a sudden we're the only county that has an indoor mask. I think there's consequences. I take a much more cautious approach. So that was the question there was, is she doing a good job? 30 second reaction to that. Uh, that's a pathetic answer. But he is the one that's not endorsed by Sheila Kuehl. So that's good enough for me. Um, Bob Hertzberg is a guy who represents the San Fernando Valley, and in his career, he has listened to the business community, and the fact that the business community has been destroyed by people like Barbara Ferrer is good enough for me. I think that ultimately, Bob Hertzberg will listen to his constituents and do the right thing. And your view of the right thing would be to move to get rid of Barbara Ferrer? To make sure that Barbara Ferrer is parking cars at the double tree by the airport. Okay. Which is what she's trying to do. <laughs> he always takes it to the next level. All right. Uh, KABC radio host of the John Phillips Show, John Phillips. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you.